Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Guess what? I've been tagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patty from the Life with Patty channel, she tagged me in like one of those uh, let's get to know each other better type of uh, question and answer. And um, it should be fun. Actually, I know it's going to be fun because they already know the answers. Ha ha, but you don't. Ha ha. <laughs> Just playing. But before we get to that, I realized something earlier. I came across this. If anybody out there has like this turban type of stretchy thing that you put over your head, this is the basis of a really good homemade mask, okay? Perfect for, you know, like when you're, you know, opening up packages and stuff. Anything that's helpful will help. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try to figure out how to make a mask mask out of it. So it's just a matter of figuring out where to cut it so it just stretches over the years. Other than that, it's perfect. And um, let's see what happens with that. Okay, so thank you so much for everything, and I'll be right back with the questions. Thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate your time. And uh, this is for you, Matt. Matt had this fetish about liking the way I look in glasses. Uh, I don't like the way I look in glasses, but... I need them anyway. I mean, as far as reading goes. So, we're going to get this party started, okay? Um, what is your name and who named me? My real name is Janet. Jan for short. My family has called me Jan for short for years, but my real full name is Janet. Uh, how many siblings do I have? Let's just say a bunch, because out of respect for their privacy, I don't, don't give answers. The ones that know me well know the answer. Um, was I close to cousins growing up? Heck yeah, I still am. Uh, did I have a special bond with grandparents? Unfortunately, three out of the four were deceased when I was already born. But the one that was left behind, my father's mother, um, yes, she and I did have a special relationship up until I was age 11. And, uh, I miss her. Um, okay, did I enjoy high school? Uh, there's a yes and a no here. I enjoyed my friends. I still keep in touch with a bunch of them to this day. Did I actually like the school? Sorry, friends, you know the answer. Um, no. <laughs> okay, uh, let's say, uh, what are my hobbies? Well, one of them is YouTube. Uh, YouTube, eBay, Craigslist, and of course, music, enjoying music. Uh, what are my stress relievers? Prayer and music, in that order. Prayer and music. And mind you, music ranks very high in my life. Uh, who is the longest friend that I have ever had? First God, then my mom. Uh, and then, you know, my other, like, friend friendships, which I still have a few that go back decades Decades, decades, and they're all on e equal level playing field of bestedness. I love them all so much. Um, what was my favorite movie? Well, for the fourth time mentioning to folks, The Taking of Pelham 123. Uh, what was my favorite book? A book that came out in the 80s called The Complete Medical Makeover. That was a great book. Uh, my favorite rainy day activity, baking. Uh, watching tutorials on YouTube, hanging out on phones and video chats. Um, let's say, what would be my favorite perfect day activity? Um, hanging out in the park, uh, hanging out in the mountainous areas, or the beach on a hot day. Um, do I prefer big city or small town? What do you think? What do you think is the answer to that one? Don't think too long. <laughs> I adore small towns quaintness, but truly I could never see me living forever in a small town. It just wouldn't work for me because I'm a New Yorker. Uh, let's see. First thing, wait, okay. First thing I want to do when this virus crisis is over, hug my daughter, hug my grandchildren, hug my whole family, hug everybody. I miss that. 
I missed that. There's something to be said about tactility. Hugs mean a lot. I'm a hugger. I'm a lover. This is a um, very out of character of social distancing from our human nature. But it is still a must, and I'm still going to say it, for those who have to follow the regulations more than others, stay the course. Keep listening to your state, local government, and what works for your state may not work for another state, but you need to keep safe if you live in a densely populated state. Okay? Okay. So there. Did you expect this bonus upload? No. Did I expect this bonus upload? No. But Patty, I was up to the challenge. Hope you like my answers. Have a great day, everybody. Catch you tomorrow.